Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday. And here with with a review on the Life on Mars, um, which we're looking at T3 Trike and Solar Explorer from 2001. Although I did review a few Life on Mars sets a little while back, but so, however, these two and also one next next throwback Thursday will be most all of the theme for that. So, please enjoy. So, let's enjoy it. But yeah. So, on one of the box here for T3 Trike, here have the Lego Life on Mars logos and also a little silhouette of Mars here and also a picture of the T3 Trike in action and the name of it while rolling around Mars's surface and has 99 pieces and age recommendation is a 7 to 12 and set number 7312 there's which the one mini fig of doc which all which is included in both sets and then flip to the back side have lego and the old slogan just imagine and also the three sections of the t3 trike and also separate section of it and set number again and be part of the lego community and and now to the manuals which are for both sets which for t3 trikes same uh, picture as on the front of its box of course and then the front page of which does have a name of the minifig that there is like the earlier star wars sets did and then on the back side advertisement of all the sets as of the theme of which and however the most probably the bestest one of all and also next next throwback thursday for that so look out for that or stay tuned for that and then combination models that you can make well with all the sets but just in, in sections in separate chunks not like completely uh, uh, instead of separate pieces for that kind of weak but yeah and then last steps So now on to the meat piece. And of course with just these two sets, and I think maybe a couple of others did include proper human meat figs. That but at least in these cases was or actually one other set, the Monojet, did come with just one uh, human mini fig. Even though the rest of which did come with uh, some of the Martian mini figs for that, but however, these two of which, and the Monojet, ones that did come with just human with traditional mini figs. But however, so now first up is uh, the first up is Doc, which comes in both of these sets here. So uh, which not so exclusive to that. Yeah, but how well uh, the torso printing of which does look quite good for how it is, but also not on the leg printing since it's an earlier figure and however this helmet piece like we've seen with most earlier a Lego space minifigs for that, and although the visor part, which is, which kind of cool for that, 
uh, quite large and also very reflective blue. Right there. And then next to which we have a BB. But hello, let me just take off the respiratory pieces so we can see the prints better. So again, have BB, of which has, which the torso printing kind of all right there for the time, and also kind of kind of funny smiley face there is, and also uh, red hair and bangs kind of all around for that, or where it's printed on, which is how they oftentimes were at this time. And then lastly, we have uh, Mac. Which is face printing, kind of all right for the time, and also so the torso printing, kind of kind of good, but also quite standard for the time. But not only like printing with all of these, and then flip to the back sides of both of them. Not only back torso printing, nor double side faces for that. But however, for both BB and Doc of it, or BB and Mac of, of course is. These uh, breathing pieces, so, which you have the large visor kind of bits to them, but and they're all reflective of blue, which is kind of cool for how it is, with a pair of studs on the back so you can clip certain things to it. But also, I'm not sure why exactly include Doc in uh, both of these sets when, although I think with. Uh, with the T3 try, could have at least included, could have included an extra fig that was female or whatever, but, or maybe let that be with the Solar Explorer or whatever. Well, maybe, well, that's just me, but whatever. And then, so now on to the T3 try here. Which has this quite large for the like ten or twenty dollars than it was at the time, and it, kind of similar, but also kind of similar to most of uh, most of uh, uh, land vehicles that we've seen for most earlier Lego space themes, of course. Now the this front part of which. Which, as you see, does have a large, large clear black dome kind of piece for the front section, and also, as you see, does have paratechnic beams comes going down and going to these uh, large wheel pieces like we've seen for most earlier space themes like Blacktron and Emtron and stuff, and they are of course suspended by rubber bands for that, which. These earlier ones, unfortunately, over time, like, over time, like, break apart and all, but, but of course, you can always substitute with later rubber band pieces. And then also do have these uh, other two pieces, like we saw on the Exotoa and Bionicle for that. But however, this dome piece of which can, like, flip open and there's a lot of, a lot of space in there. Well, enough space to fit your dock minifig into. But also, do you have a little control panel uh, kind of tile piece there, but just on one side. Would be nice if it was on both sides, or maybe a joystick piece for that, whatever. And that side side of which would have its interesting color scheme going on of mainly white. White, blue, and regular blue, with a bit of dark gray to that kind of fitting, col nice color scheme to it. Power for the top part it does have this uh, round two by four tile piece, but with a minifig version of the Leonardo da Vinci thing. That's kind of interesting. Then the center section to it, which is just clip bricks and uh, jagged slopes. And same with on this top section for that. 
and of course one side which has a large antenna of it, then the other side of which also does have a little bar piece, which is most likely from Fabuland. And also a little dish piece on the side, of course. And then in this center section does have metal detector bit, but acting as extra sonar or something. And then this bottom section, which is comprised of another technic beam and wheel part. But however, with this set of which you can plop it, these two off and like on the box kind of states is or shows you could make it shorter and let this center section be its own little bit own thing for that. And of course this would also applies with those Martian sets as well, but and of course you can like Use it with the Solar Explorer, which I'll show later, but yeah. And well, that's about it with the T3 trike here. And now, onto the Solar Explorer here, which, from first glance, does look almost like a, a like a space shuttle to it, but, how it, but at least this has some different things to it, obviously. And of course, quite long for that. So this was quite good for the twenty to thirty dollars that it was at the time, but more of that in the verdict. And of course, like all of these sets, kind of separation in sections. So, and I'll just look at each section individually, which I'll do for this review. As for this front section, which, as you see, does have a little, uh, little cone kind of piece acting as a front part of which, although it would be nice if there was an extra cone piece to make it a little more finished off for that. And also a couple of clips on the sides, not sure what for, but as for this uh, canopy section, which just like which you kind of which is from the original uh, 2000 Millennium Falcon set, with, but with different printings to it, so you can plop, pop it open. And also has enough space to fit two of your mini figs into, of course. And if you can kind of tell in the far back, is a jagged slope with some interesting prints printing to it, which was kind of common for the time. And also notice that all of it is resting on this large, uh, unique shaped plate, which might have been from some earlier airplane sets or was something. And then further down, it does have some like, like. Uh, light blue slopes, and also this classic style blaster bit, which, as we saw in early Boba Fett and all. And then this Earth's farther section, which does have a, a black dish piece on top of it. And, and I guess that's about it with this section. Then onto this center section, which is just a bunch of technic bricks linked together with the odd bits to them with these little pieces in it, and this large uh, uh, film material type panel on top, which like we saw with, with some earlier, with the, with earlier sets for that, especially the Ewok attack set two years later, or, of course, but however you can like, you can pop these off and reveal this little hidden uh, rover vehicle to it, which comes off right out of it. And although quite simple one, so you put a tile piece for both guidance and vehicle to that, and also an arrow on top. And also these two 
uh, clip joints. So they have this little orange, trans orange rock piece. And open it up, and then there's a little cylinder piece on this piece. Which is kind of neat. Then. And what is this one? And there's enough room to fit a mini thing onto the course. This man has back in farther back of which does have mainly a few other bricks in those just bricks stacked on bricks with a few plates in and also a couple of classic grill pieces in there of course. So I guess that's it there. And the center section, which is kind of like a separate landing probe. So you can just uh, pop right off and it's like that. But also one thing missing is this in, in the antenna bit, which the T3 trike also kind of has. So just I'll just have it on for now to make it look more complete. Which has you just hinge kind of bricks on the sides and also this bit to it and the rest of which just bricks with cylinders then and also these uh, 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 pin bricks on there and also that little uh, dome kind of piece to it and which kind of interesting use of that piece for that Not sure what it was mostly for, but actually it was kind of an off to the side kind of build. But yeah, and then to finally this back section, which is resting on two large uh, wedge plates acting as back wings, and then has archway bricks and uh, light blue slopes and also uh, trans red cones. And so at, probably acting as like back guidance lights for that. And in the back side, just uh, pins or pin brick using for the pop and swap features of the sets. And then I also do have these engine intakes, which some of the Martian mechs kind of also had. And which probably also might have been on some other uh, sets as well or space set. And on top of which is a little warning tile kind of piece there. And also these uh, airplane uh, wing pieces on top. Which, unlike some of which, fold in and outwards. It's kind of interesting. And then, and now onto the pop and swap feature, which back of the box and in the manual did show. We can like take these and have an, an extra long T3 trike or especially some of the other sets as well. So of course kind of close to combination models for that but however it's just done in sections not like in, in the separate pieces. Overall verdict is, I think this these two of which are really good set, or just really cool sets, like for the time and also kind of in general. Like these do act as good parts packs of like light blue and uh, mostly white, well for both of them. And also even though the mini fig of Daka, which may be kind of repetitive to have in both sets, well. Even though I think a different minifig in the T3 trike which would have been necessary, would have been better, but well, it's an earlier set. Well, and, but 
I can still kind of forgive it, but yeah. And of course, did provide a cheap way to get docked for that. And of course, nice to have a, a land vehicle in here alongside the mono jet set. And of course, and of course, good to have a larger set for, for the uh, human minifigs for this theme. Um, and of course, a little extra variety to pop and swap with the uh, Martian mechs and such. And also, good to have a few minifigs in this, uh, in the Solar Explorer, but yeah. Although I think the Solar Explorer could have had some other things added to it, or other uh, uh, pieces to it, like a couple extra uh, megaphone blasters in the front, or a, a cone extra cone piece in the front to make it a more effective nose cone, whatever. Maybe that would be a little bit too much, but at least the uh, film panel, I think, can still kind of be workable in some mocks if you were willing to do so, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, BrickLink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.